Consider the, the religious rituals that have come about just in the last few weeks. The, the main one being the mask. You know the mask. Mask which we were initially told, don't wear the mask. The masks are bad. The masks aren't going to stop coronavirus. We have very little evidence that the masks do anything at all. Then we were told the masks will protect us. Then we were told the masks won't protect us, but it'll protect other people. Now we're being told something in the middle. And now increasingly we're seeing people not wearing the masks properly, but just having to have them around as a, as a virtue signal, as a sign that we're on the right side of the ideology. Well, Joe Biden has just said if he's elected president, he will, completely unconstitutionally, mandate masks at the federal level. If you became president tomorrow, what would you do differently regarding the pandemic and getting these surging cases now under control? I would go back to making sure that everybody had masks, that you had PPE lined up. We have been making sure we stockpile all the things that we need that we don't have now. The one thing we do know, these masks make a gigantic difference. I would insist that everybody on public be wearing that mask. Anyone to reopen would have to make sure that they walked into a business that had masks. I would Couldn't make... you use your federal leverage to mandate that though? Yes. And you would you? Yes, I would from an executive standpoint. Yes, I would. So you would in effect mandate the wearing of masks? I would do everything in my possible to make it, make it required that people had to wear masks in public. I would do everything in my possible and I would, so he realizes at the end, because Biden's been around a long time, he realizes, wait a second, I just said that I would mandate masks from the federal level, but I probably don't have the constitutional power to do that, so I would do everything in my possible. One thing to note here is the man still can't form an English sentence. Even though they're, they're limiting on the campaign his public appearances, every time he appears, it's clear this guy is not there. He is not with it. And, and he falls apart even at the end here. But at the broader level, what he's saying isn't true. We don't know that the masks are super duper effective. In fact, all the same people were telling us they weren't effective just a few weeks ago. We, don't, we know very little about the masks. And we know that Joe Biden himself, when he was giving a speech just a couple weeks ago, he had the mask dangling from his ear. It wasn't on his mouth, so it wasn't preventing the spread of coronavirus, but it wasn't off either. Because if it's off, then it, he's not on board. He's, he wore it dangling down from his ear just to show people that he's on the right team. People do this now when you're on an airplane. I've taken a couple airplanes in the last few weeks. Or when you're in a restaurant or something, you'll see people wearing the mask below the nose. I, this is what I do as well. And you wear it below the nose because it, this is extremely stupid, this, this constantly changing standard where you have to wear the mask, you don't have to wear the mask. Coronavirus is super deadly, but go out and tear down statues and riot for BLM and, and, and show up at Pride, right? So it's not, not really based on science, but you have to have it somewhere around. I was on an airplane and I had the mask. I'm not going to wear a mask on my face for five hours. I'm just not going to do it. And so I had the mask under my, on my chin, right? So my mouth and my nose completely exposed. And then eventually I said, this is stupid. So I just take the mask off. And the stewardess walks up to me and says, you have to put your mask on. So I put it back on my chin, obviously not doing anything to stop any of my air coming out. She says, okay, that's good. It's like wearing a mantilla in a church or a hijab or wearing a yarmulke if you're Jewish. It's a, it is a quasi-religious symbol saying that we are all on board in the same metaphysics and the, inv the invisible enemy that we're all fighting. 